They want to give Yatro a last pick. They want him to have a good time. Oh, God. Okay. Well, this, this is Empower plus Cleave. Forget Luna farming patterns. We've got Yatro Sven with buffs. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. oh the blood grenade. He's under tower. Regen kicking in. Malady. <laughs> I'm like, sure, this is fine. Yeah. Go for it immediately. <laughs> Drain my banner? I think not. I mean, Wave of Terror just cannot be underestimated here. They're diving with tier one and going for it. Yatro just needs a couple uh -oh. more hits, but he's stunned on the tower now. Trample, uh -oh. Nefrit, trying to kill off the Sven. He's pretty speedy, he gets up towards Zayat, but the salve healed him enough. Get the hell away from our wisdom rune, says Team Spirit. Mali's come over here trying to snipe it. Taking a fair bit of damage though. Yeah, with both the, the offlane heroes here. Tries to get into the ancient camp, but won't succeed. Zayat and Mello. They're arriving. Bend in the fog. Hello, Zayat. Gonna get caught and killed here though. Nobody's gonna get on help. Central Spirit. They're straight up dead. Available. Echo straight on the Kunkka. X Mark's gonna pull him back into the Lion's Stun. Malady trying to come back in here with the Mortimer's Kisses. The Trample arriving, that Onslaught, a lot of damage onto the Tiny. And they're blowing up the Yathro Sven. Look at that damage, it's coming straight through from Shigetsu. Great Torrent as well, placed on the Vens to follow through with the Primal Beast arriving on the Killing Spree. Now they can transfer this with a Catapult Wave onto the Tier 1 mid. Better. Stats, Into the magic missile, Shigetsu, absolutely dead. Damn, the, the biggest question mark is around this lion. Position, position four lion, right bottom of the net worth. Well, hang on a second, Nefred, he's gone very deep here. Trying to snipe out Mira by the tier two, but Niposka and Lyle both gonna arrive, but he misses out on his combo, doesn't land it properly. Now a torrent to try and protect. The avalanche comes. Nefrit's still surviving. Gets to the high ground with a boat bomb on him. He's incredibly tanky. Lol is hasted, but X marked up. Dragged back away from the beast. Another onslaught, but a toss forward. Everyone's jumping around everywhere. Zayats finally dies. Nefrit's found by collapse. Two-sided fight there as Na'Vi looked like they got away with murder, but not to be. I've got to quickly move into mid to defend the tower. She gets to Amelo already here. Primal Beast TPing in forward. Lol down to half HP. Collapse. And Zayat's having a fight on the northern side. Lol does survive. Oh, no, he doesn't. Power shot will finish him off, it looks like. Finish down by the Wind Ranger. It's collapse. RPs the Primal Beast on top of the high ground, but dragged into the torrent by this Kunkka. Good defense of the mid lane there. Like about the Kind of spend now, yeah. Oh, we've got tons of stuns. There's no running from this. Look at that, even the water part from Kunketten. Make damn sure the Sven dies. Don't, 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 just don't get near this guy. I mean, he, he's a Yeti, right? Now, now he's turned kind of yellow. They, they, they don't, uh, oh god, they're jumping onto Lyle straight away. Trying to blast him where the Morty's kiss is. Lyle to high ground, half HP, but she gets used here with the help of Nefret to stun him up. The same or the tiny, so he can't move anymore. Oh, collapse. With the help of that stolen earth spike, does get a good jump and grab on Nefrit, but that's a tanky primal beast. RP required. Na'Vi with a backup plan now. Torrent going to be cancelled out by the BKB of Yatoro. Boat not connecting. And the Sven bails away. Well, they, 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 saw, they, they, they know the Ruby's there. They don't care. They're going straight for Yatoro. This is really nice. Ignore Mira. Go for the Sven. Take him down. I mean, that, that is disciplined, right? You see the Rubik show, that's an easy kill. But instead, they know. Sven is there, underward, go for him. The rest of Na'Vi right behind Jackson's in tow. Did they make the jump? Team Spirit. They have perfect vision of this. They see them all coming. Don't get X mark to clear the wave mid. The rest of Na'Vi have moved off the smoke behind, but they've got the jump on the Kunker to take him down. Team Spirit with a swift removal. And now into mid to continue. They've got this tiny arcane rune still to the use. Pops it now, toss the snapfire and Sven with the god strength, wanting to get a little bit more out of the fight. Oh, oh the hex. And they chain stun the swap, you're right. Gets him out of danger and he still has BKB. Primal Beast does as well, forced to use it to try and retreat. TP home, but Zayat, look at him disappear. 
Team Spirit bring everyone to defend their carry. Yatro is not going to be left behind. Because we do have Na'Vi mounting an effort from that tier 2 top. They see the Venge. Two ulties to kill the Boschka. They've bloody well had enough of these swaps saving people. Venge down for 40 seconds, but another one of these... Oh, hello, down the bottom lane. Is that Nefrit RP'd and caught? Yatoro with the big hits out of the Sven. And Lal with the takedown. Could be clashing in towards this bottom rune spot, though. Shield rune is there. Kunker goes for it, but look at who's meeting him. Sven and Magnus RP the Kunker. They do come back in with the Power Beast, though. Yatoro getting taken lower, but a good swap back will get him out of danger. Now the kiss is landing in onto Miposhka. Lyle BKB'd up in a tiny retreat, so just the Venge to die for now. The RAF, the, the Courier Air Force coming in. Dagon zapping people. Anyway, smoke up from Two Spirit. Vengeful has a long move down to the bottom lane. Clash going to start off even without her. Nefrit wanted in, but I'm not sure he's too comfortable with how this is going. He goes for the Pulverize on the Magnus now, but Yatro Sven straight back in with the God Strength up. Shackle shot there, connecting on Lol and Yatro. BKB's out from the Sven for now. Nefrit still going into the back lines as they lose Niposhka. Primal Beast might be in danger though, but Team Spirit are retreating. Not wanting to continue this fight, just leaving Mira stranded on the right hand side. Looks like Na'Vi. Potentially have control of this pit now. Primal Beast looking worse for wear, and another catch. They just keep extending these fights. Trade, one for one, back and forth. Lol back in onto Kunker now. The Ogre Seal Totem gets him out of danger. TPing home, and he stuns to catch him inside the pit. Mirror's not there quite in time. Tried the courier scouting maneuver with the Venge Courier. Continually responding. Jump in, collapse, one jump. And the Lincolns. They don't have two BKB. And it's just Dota perfection. And Lol is even potentially God, able to jump and blink <laughs> and cross someone back if need be. But oh, you said it, right? This tanky guy. How many spells do they use now? Five, six, oh, seven. Torrent the Sword of Storm as well. Swap. Yeah, Swap is still there. Maposhka finally uses it. Let's see if the Venge will die. A casualty of war finally dropping there as Nali snipe out the Ventral Spirit. But the illusion is up. Another swap, and Lol jumps in, torrent thrown, and Nefrit moves forward, but yours into the sky. Lol BKB dub, and now with a torn hot, dragging back the problem beast. Yatro can open up with the physical damage. Stun. Didn't BKB. Zyrus with a stun and earth yes. causing problems. They've got the chain to save on the Yatro and they kill off the Sven. Collapse now in trouble. Cookie away the problem beast and kill off the Magnus. Beautiful from Na'Vi. If things are slightly different, we can see Na'Vi being steamrolled, but uh, perfect execution. Zyrus on this line and a follow through from Na'Vi, trusting and believing in him. Getting the job done as Lol will blow up she gets you there. Drag him back into the waiting arms of Miposhka and Lol. Now the Ven falling, but the illusion's back up, so another magic missile and round of spells to come. Nefret trying to retreat. We'll see if Lol can make another jump, because Melodrill's waiting. Hiding in the trees. x mark boat comes out. Nefret, another onslaught forward, aggressively onto this tiny. Lol, very low. The swap is there. The damage block. The shield is up. The shield from the BKB as well, protecting Lol's tiny. Throws the tree towards the Kunker, but can't get any kills. Maybe now with Magnus. Collapse. Moving forward onto Melodrill. Does he have ulti? No, there's no RP, so can't stop the TP. We need tier 5 items, right? We need Giant's Ring. We, we need Giant's Ring on this tiny and primal beast. Let them fight it out. Come on, a good wrap around here. Blink Hex, Zayat. Caught by Collapse, though. Let's see if Tiny can get brought down. He gets the BKB off in time. Great stun from Zayat again. Two man stun up onto Yatro, but now the turn around with their BKBs. Collapse. RP's the Wind Ranger. They've got the focus down onto Shigetsu, but the damage will it come fast enough. She gets off to the side. Toss forward. There we go. Yatro sent into the midst of it all. And Team Spirit, they've claimed three. Look for the fourth as Malady. Gets down to the low ground, but not going to survive for much longer. The Poshka there with Lal to stun and take her down. Now you're going to have to defend their base top lane, I guess. Just let bottom and, bottom and mid fall? You have to def top. You can let mid and bottom fall, but yeah, I don't think you can go against Mega Creeps here. Zayat and Melo will try. On to Collapse Magnus. Good swap by Miposhka. Uh, move back in. Collapse going to skewer away now and leave the Venge for dead. I clear out two full sets. Windranger did not have to buy back, so a little bonus there from Na'Vi, keeping themselves in the game. 500. Ooh. Two-man torrent boat. 
comes up from the high ground. Now with the refresher. Turnstorm as well. Great catch on Collapse. Now the kill on Matoshka. Man, Team Spirit. Down on the low ground. He's getting pummeled from on high. Yatro will jump in with a big swipe of his sword. Kills off one. Shigetsu buys back immediately as Lal still going pretty wild in the back lines. Might be thinking about retreating now with BKB up. Yatoro getting caught again with a torrent out. Nefret coming back in with a primal beast. Look, look at a mirror on his right hand side. Can we get a save on the Sven or anything at all? Yatoro is still up and running technically but disabled continually. Dead for a hundred. Mira jumped away from there and bailed out. Fatality. Tiny wandering up the staircase, gonna get torrented and stunned up. In comes Nefrit, concerted effort to try and bring Lol low. Not able to kill him off by any means. Another good tidal wave, nearly pushes him high ground, the torrent stops him. But Storm, out of Kunker here, but the damage is lacking. Now with a horn toss, dragged back across, Mela Jewel forced to BKB out. Yatra with his god strength going and opening up on the Kunker, but the refresher is there. Another round boat, another round of torrent storm to come. Team Spirit have successfully baited Kunker to use all of his spells, and no one's died yet. We still have Aegis on Magnus, we still have a tanky, incredibly strong Sven, and in comes Collapse, the RP, fake pumping, thinking about it, doesn't go for it in the end. Oh, maybe now, a lot of saves coming in onto this Magnus. Ah, oh, he's gonna skew <laughs> What is that? Skewer during the torrent? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! Like, I just ace mark, skewer, drag across, they've got the snap fire! Primal Beast tried to onslaught in, gotta be careful now, there's no snap for 90 seconds! Magnus being held back by the Gleipnir route, Nefrit dragged in again, Torrent to try and give him some cover, I don't know whose X mark that is, I'm gonna guess it's the Rubik's one to move him around! <laughs> yeah, you can also break enemies X mark with your own X mark, as long as it's Oh, he just tosses him up in the air. Now he's literally stuck here, Tiny, getting chained, disabled. All the tidal wave back behind the barracks. Now where's Team Spirit to save him? Lol, in some serious danger. Yule stepped it up, tosses Flying. across the conquer. He's flying still around alive. the Tiny, he's still alive. No, he's not allowed to get out of here, surely. Finally dies. Mira's also gone to the grave. Yatoro has BKB ready, but blinks before he needs to use it. Magnus left stranded now as Team Spirit. Uh, being pulled apart by Na'Vi. Aegis used up, Magnus with his second life, probably gonna get clipped by a torrent or something, but he gets off the BKB RP. Tidal wave on the vent, drags her away, another round of spells, and in comes the Sven, the damage the RP again, she gets who's gone, and look at this, Primal Beast getting clapped and hammered down by the Sven. Yatoro picks up a double kill as the Kunker gives chase, another BKB from Magnus to keep him safe. Oh, Ace Mark, oh, he gets dragged back into the waiting Zayas and Maddy to blow him up. Base, it's time. They did that into Skeleton Tower. Catapults of Pearl. Picks him up. Jump again. Maybe finish him. Ferris, but they found the target. Melody, he just won back. What? 1v1. Looking for time now as well. Oh, Yatoro. He's, he's done with this Four game. <laughs> he's forced the clef. He's, he's got another BKB. Used his refresher orb to finish off the barracks. X mark. Is that going to last long enough to drag him back? It looks like barely gets the job done. Now Yatro in a spot of other, hey? Stormhammer's on the Zaya. Hopes the Eon Dead's there, but Nefrit and Melody Jewel. They've got enough control and damage to bring down the Sven. It looks like they'll take him out, but Mega Creeps will be coming. I guess you check to see what you have and then give it to, like, Wind Ranger or something to see if she gets something better. Collapse. Speaking of, Wind Ranger, skewered an RP. Caught out by the Magnus with Mira nearby. We've got Refresher up as well, but the base inside the throne is dropping. Tiny's there, dropping it low. Control is coming. She gets to dies and buys back. It's Lol looking to finish off the game with a few swift whacks to the tree, and they do it. All right, what an execution in the end from Team Spirit. All right, here we go. Game two coming your way. It's Navi against Team Spirit. There's one. Do we have a blood grenade or anything here? Mira collapse, finally get first blood. Just before six minutes hits, kill off that Venge. Malady not gonna get the Wisdom Rune Steel. Mira there, right on time. Oh, bypasses them. <laughs> Slides through the trees. I think Malady's still gonna get found here as Collapse is joined. I'm looking for the pickoff. I'm gonna make them work for it. Delay the inevitable. 
Meanwhile, I think a fight is brewing over towards that top rune spot inside the jungle where Lal has spotted some of those stacks and stolen out a few creeps, but finally, first kill up on the board for Na'Vi. They see him. Flame breaking to trample. All of his illusions going to die there, but good root on the Primal Beast stops him in his tracks. Zayat still trying to chase forward. Marjul with his haste rune and Flada arriving will be able to get the pick off at long last. In the meantime, then died down bottom. Oh, she gets to... Getting charged by Collapse's Timber Saw. TP and Primal Beast down here with the Bend as well. She gets to taken out for the Chakra of Collapse. But in comes the trade. A double kill for your mid laner. You said it's all about this Primal Beast from the mid lane of Mellow Jewel, and he's showing off why. From one side to the other, getting really important kills on both side lane cores. One of the best heroes. Absolutely. Oh, hello, Naposhka. Gets the final hit in there. His first 10 minutes, Na'Vi. A lot of opportunities still to go. Mid lane, Lyle and Naposhka pairing up again. Anki Primal Beast need that additional bit of zap out of Mira's Fade Bolt. And now with a catch in from Lyle onto Zayat. Blood Grenade going to help him out to take down the Bat Rider with a good stroke of fate. They just need it. another slice there. Something's got to be done about this. We can't, we can't have everyone buying Mage Slayer. Oh, here comes Lol with the Mage Slayer against the Slado with the Mage Slayer. Good crush. I think Swell, Nefoska's arrival, and the catch on Slado will secure them a kill. Mm. Yeah, that rider dead though, and probably trying to escape. Soul bound up. Leash to the Ventral Spirit. Lyle, still thinking about the chase, gets the root down on the vent. The swap across, going to put her back in danger as the remnants out give Lol safety and collapse. With Naposka there to clean up. Ursa and Primal Beast back in though. That incredibly quick damage from the Ursa, but the Primal Beast went too deep. Lol playing the outskirts of this fight very well. Now maybe another potential catch on the Ursa Warrior. Lol could be careful with very low HP, just going for the poke and prod with a slight in the chains. And the Song of the Siren coming in onto this enraged Ursa. Is the Naga Get fast enough? Speed. <laughs> it flipped him. Zyrax wanting to finish off his blink, but found on the right hand side of the map. Is this this trio? The Ink Swelled Ember, the catch from Mira's Rubik. It's just perfect layering of setup stun into follow up into gap close. If you show on the map and these guys are nearby, you are very likely dead. Yatero, though, is being found by a different trio. Oh, that stun dodge with a jump out, but Yatero still dies. He could look to join fights. Also, can jump around from camp to camp a little bit faster. Oh, now Melodjol onslaughting into two with a trample. He's walked into three of spirit here. He wanted to clear creep wave and run away. He didn't expect them to be ready and waiting to spring that trap. Collapse is trying to get there. He's being pinged out saying, hey, just chill. Wait a second. We've got to try and catch up with the rest of us. So Aegis grabbed by Shigetsu. It looks like Spirit still making the move forward, though. Scouting with Ob's Wards and Illusions. Wave of Terror sees them all going through the Twin Gate. Our couple went through, but they've got the catch on Malady. Eventual Spirit now low into the back on Ursa. That's really nice. Deeper and deeper. Team Spirit will find a really good target. Your Scepter to stop the Enrage having too much effectiveness. And Shigetsu uh, is going to die twice here. What did you learn? Not a chance. Nice save to take by Na'Vi, but the retreat. Na'Vi... Kind of have to go like Headless Chickens blind into moves like this, where they do jump the Ember Spirit. But the safety and protection is there from the Grimstroke. They need more stuns. Lol, swapped across. They get the kill with the Ursa at long last. And they'd like to press into tier 1 mid and bottom lane, but that's all being covered by the Naga. She's cutting waves with illusions as Collapse plays into this Radiant Triangle again, backed up by Meposhka. A lot of damage, but a good, good swap from Malady there. Backup arriving with Zayats and Shigetsu, taking out Mira. Rubik, a little too forward placed, but a good jump. DD Ember like coming in. Ember Spirit here to kill off both supports. Two for one trade. And while you're making all this noise and chaos on this side of the map, Yatero is having a very chill, calm time elsewhere. Ursa, oh, he wanted in on that. Backline stab from Melodule. Primal Beast is moving aggressively towards them. Meposhka does get Blink crushed. Timbersaw though with a three-man whirling death. Shakram on them and the Ember Spirit will rejoin. Yatero, he says hello. BKB out from Shigetsu. Is there a Blink? He can't. Earth Mage Slayer to goes. High ground. Oh, you're right. The Mage Slayer just keeps cancelling it out. Goes you through BKB. You weren't kidding about this. <laughs>
Ah, uh, this item is just uh, too good. Super important for Na'Vi to win this fight convincingly. But they've always, and Team Spirit have always got this big reset button with the Song of the Siren. Primal Beast already scouted. High ground vision there, the Yule Scepter, good. Stop button to hit that. Malady swap back the ban. Zayat's in difficult territory now as Malady will fall quickly. Blink crush from Slaughter, looking into the back lines. Miposhka getting crushed and bashed around by Nefret. Now the Song of the Siren, but the BKBs are up from Na'Vi. Giving them oh, protection he's against low. the Naga Siren. Low HP on Yatoro, but gets the distance now, allowing Collapse and Lyle to open up and get the damage done. Another Yule's on his own, so just sending him skywards. Can't get a damn thing done as Nefret getting blasted by Collapse. Good stun. Bash the crush, good stun, but not enough. Ursa's gone, Nefret chased down, dominating streaks for LOL and Collapse. They see everything, they see tier 2 tower, they see where tier 1 tower is. Lola Jewel running in. That's aggressive, Collapse is so quick with that Yule Scepter though. Lola Jewel pops the illusion. Tries to run away from Yatoro and his illusions. Lasso is there onto the Rubik. Another Yule Scepter Skyward sends Mira. Song of the Sirens out Purser. from Yatoro. Oh. They're trying to catch up to this Ursa now as well. He's isolated, surrounded by illusions. Yatoro getting pushed out by the Onslaught. Can they pulverize and get the Naga Siren? She gets you slain by Collapse. Mira will be a casualty here as Nefret finds it. But in comes the rest of Spirit. They can't stop his TP, it looks like. A two for one in the end, but they don't kill off the Aegis. They don't find any core kills. Yeah. Also Disperser. Like you see this item speeding up Mira, so he gets another round of spells. Look at Lull <laughs> and Collapse. Tracking back, tracing and hunting their prey. It's a couple of stuns, but Yatoro can reset with the song. Look at that dodge on the boulder toss. Yatoro, what a god. BKB's expended, collapses in onto this slaughter and a lot of immediate damage. We'll send them back. The lasso uh, returns the back onto the bat rider with a Lotus Orb. Zaya done in by collapse. And this lane of barracks looks pretty forfeit to me. 4v5, and the 5 has Aegis Cheese, so that's a 7. And Team Spirit one step closer to qualifying for Birmingham. Melodule, though, wanting to try and put an end to this, gets in on top of Yataro. Yule Scepter up after the swap. Interesting, but Collapse has found the target in the back and blows him up. Shigetsu can't even grasp onto Rubik. He's danced his way out of there, pirouetting out as Yatoro does lose the Aegis. Tried to get the song off in time, but Na'Vi are bleeding out. One by one, they're falling like flies. Nefrit left stranded. Shigetsu, the only one alive. Slada does have a buyback, but at this point, is it even worth it? They were ahead for a really long time, but they couldn't push, considering the heroes that Spirit had. And now, it seems like that they were unable to put the same amount of pressure, same gameplay, as they did in the game number one. They're but fountain diving! They are, they're getting in. They want to use this Bloodthorn, double Bloodthorn. 